This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday morning, the 8th of May. I'm James Spann. A moist air mass stays in place, but it looks like the next uh, round of showers and storms could hold off until tonight. Let's take a look out the window early this morning. We'll start with the sky cam in uh, Birmingham looking north from the Daniel Building. Got some low clouds over the city and some fog in spots. Uh, doesn't seem to be too thick for the Birmingham Metro, but if you go up into northwest Alabama, the fog is pretty thick in a few places. That's coming from Hamilton. The uh, sky cam in Hamilton High School. But down the road, the fog is not all that bad in downtown Fayette. So kind of patchy fog this morning, mainly over north and west Alabama. That should burn off by mid-morning. There's a nice shot. That's the water vapor satellite imagery around the nation early this morning. We note the uh, upper load that's over uh, the southwestern states, over Arizona and uh, the far southeastern part of California. We'll kind of keep an eye on that and see how that affects our weekend. Then a trough is developing to the north over the upper Midwest, and that will be pushing some drier air down in here by tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures this morning are colder back over the Rockies, but pretty mild here. Readings are mostly in the 60s. Radar this morning, pouring rain at 5 o'clock down over uh, Chambers County in East Alabama. Uh, Lafayette Valley, places like that, just north of Auburn and Opelika. Got some rain uh, around Douglasville, Georgia, that's uh, west of Atlanta, but things are relatively quiet. And the models have actually backed off on the uh, rain during the day today, as you'll see. This is the severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Low end 5% probabilities over much of Alabama in the adjacent states. Organized severe weather, not especially likely. And then tomorrow, a standard slight risk over parts of South Alabama, basically south of a line from Lafayette to Montgomery and Thomasville. And uh, no tornado issue. The uh, threat there, like we've seen in recent days, if we have any storms, would be from hail and gusty winds. And the rain for the next five days. Hey, look at that beneficial rain in Texas. They've had some good drought-busting rains here in recent months. And around here, and this is valid through the weekend, by the way, or I'm sorry, through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. This is suggesting rain amounts of about one-half to one inch for North Alabama. Let's look. This is the OZGFS valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Again, back in the southwest, you can see the upper low that's on the California-Arizona border, and that's just going to hang back for a few days. A uh, strong trough in the northern branch, and those two systems will not be phasing up. But that northern branch should push a cold front through here tomorrow morning. Down below that, uh, you can see how really the, the cold front is not that active today on the GFS. It looks like it might come tonight. And then tomorrow at 1 o'clock, uh, the model is still relatively wet for about the southern two-thirds of the state. But let's go to the higher resolution RPM for this. All right, this is 7 o'clock this evening, and it's got kind of widely scattered showers over our state. Then tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, it's got us in uh, rain. So again, I really think that the better rain opportunity will be tonight into early tomorrow, and then by 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, the northern half of the state is dry. The sky becomes partly sunny here. The rain is mainly south of Montgomery. So maybe about uh, 6 o'clock this evening until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning is going to be the main window for rain. All right, Thursday, we're in dry air. And that's going to feel good. Beautiful day. Sunny, low humidity. High of 77 on the GFS. We'll start the day around 50. Maybe some 40s for the cooler valleys. And the same thing on Friday. Just gorgeous. Sunny, low humidity. The high in the low 80s after starting the day around 50. We note some very cold air coming down into Montana. And that disturbance over Texas is moving toward the western Gulf. All right. So here's Saturday. And uh, again, the winds aloft are light and variable here. The trough is weak and ill-defined, and the showers with that feature are way down south. And if this is right, we can really back off on the chance of rain on Saturday. And even Sunday, Mother's Day looks pretty dry. With the bulk of the showers down in the Gulf and a few showers up north. Let's check the European. This is Saturday evening at uh, 7 o'clock. Again, it's got the rain with that uh, feature well to the south and west of here. So both the European and the GFS are now looking dry for Saturday. This is Sunday off the European. The rain is kind of creeping in late in the day. And then Monday of next week looks fairly wet. But the good news, the weekend looking drier now. Um, we go to Monday off the GFS. It's got a cold front north of us. And Tuesday, that front eases in here with a chance of showers. And, hey, we start to turn cooler if this is right.
And on Wednesday, the 16th, a big upper low forms north of here. And that would suggest maybe some clouds and temperatures below average middle part of uh, next week, if that's right. We'll check the end of the forecast on May 23rd. That looks kind of warm as uh, ridging is in place here with the westerlies up north. And that looks kind of summerish, early summerish. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or on the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.